Hello everybody, welcome to Iowa Plains View and my attempt at the Zero to Hero Challenge. Uh, I have set everything up. Um, the farms are ready for me to buy them. Uh, I have, let's see, I have bought all of the free land. If you can buy free land, I've bought it. So, um, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. I uh, I don't have the uh, start from zero mod. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't know if that's what it's called or not. But I do have easy development mod. Whoops. And I have stop time, so I will. I'll get that going again. But I'm gonna remove five hundred thousand dollars. Is gone. I have zero dollars. So let me go ahead and fix the time and I'll show you my settings. Um, we are going to do most of our time in 3x. Um, I think that's fast enough. If, if there's a lot of time left at the end of the day, I'll speed that up a little bit, but I don't want to go too much past 5x. We're going to go with normal economic difficulty. We'll leave traffic on for now until they make me mad. Um, we're going to say no to seasonal growth. Uh, let's see. We're going to do one day a month. Let's get through the year quickly. If I'm not going to do seasons, I like for it to look like April. So it's always going to be April and snow is going to be off. Um, I'm going to take uh, crop destruction off. I will not drive on the fields, but if I do, I really don't want to lose... Um, don't want to lose crops. I'm going to leave plowing on. I'm going to turn field stone off. And uh, I'll leave lime and weeds on. All right. We're going to do normal dirt. Automatic engine start on. Stop and go braking on. Because I like those things. We're going to do normal fuel usage. Uh, we're going to turn all of that off. And I'm going to go with 50% on maintenance costs. I, the maintenance cost in 22 just got completely out of hand. So we're going to go with 50%. I don't know. Uh, I think we're going to be done before we need to do too much maintenance because I think we can make a lot of money here. So we're going to go back out of that. I have zero dollars. I'm here at the here at the vehicle shop and I'm ready to take on a contract. So let's see what's available. We have fertilizing. Oh Lord, $25,466. Ah, uh, but I can't do fertilizing contracts because I have no money. And I think I have a loan, too, because I have a $200,000 loan. So I can't get any more loan until I paid this one off, I believe, are the rules. So I'm going to have to do something else for now. One day, fertilizing contracts, we will be back for you. Harvesting, we can sure do that and take the product to the water mill. Yeah, even at a reduced rate. Well, yeah, we're going to do this one. So we're going to borrow the items. Um, and yeah, let's go do this contract. Uh, where is it? It is field 21. Oh no, it is field 14. So where is field 14 and how big is it? Doesn't really matter. Okay, it's not too far down the road. A nice square field, so let's go harvest. Nice big header. Let's see, we do have a header trailer. And we're going to need it here, because these roads can get a little narrow. And we left traffic on, so... We want to tempt fate.
I have played this map before, but it's been a while. So I'm not... I'm not remembering a lot of things. Okay. That went on the trailer. I am a... I'm a huge hater of header trailers. So whenever I can get by without one, I like to. Oh, Lord. And this is why. Right here. This is why. Not sure how to deal with this. I think I'm probably going to have to... Yeah, it's not going to let me move that. I don't understand why header trailers have to be this way. And I also don't understand why. Why would you have everything spawn right here where... <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> okay, well that helped a little. So that's an option. Well, I'm just making a mess of this right off the bat, so... I think we know what to expect here now. Let's see if that's any better. And then we can actually go and harvest a field. And make a little money. try to back this thing. What was I thinking? I'm not thinking. I was just jumping right in and getting on with this challenge. I like it. You know, after you've played the game for a while, you start to you start to look for oh lord you start to look for things that that will make the game a little different and you know kind of have that same charm that it had the fir very first time you played it so this is kind of like that and here we go we're gonna make some money If I had a way to pick up the straw, I would leave a swath, but I don't, so I won't. Well, I'm going to leave this at this speed for now, but if anyone would want to comment about, you know, whether, whether it would be okay or not to change the max working speed here, I want to stick within the rules of the challenge. But... I'll admit that I'm not the most patient human on the planet, so I tend to want to get these things over with a little more quickly. But for now, we can do six miles an hour. That's cool. It is relaxing. I'll give it that. I guess I got to go get the truck and the trailer. And here we are. Oh, 
here. And that's the problem with automatic start. You know. I really just like jumping in a vehicle and having it start. I... But you can't do things like that. Now we can look and see how much capacity we have left. Okay, we can do that one more time. And part of another. And it doesn't look like we're quite halfway done, so we may have to take another load, another full load, and then another partial. And this has to be the right water mill, right? I mean, how many water mills can there be? It's pretty cool though. Look at that. All right, good. It's not making our money go up, so we're in the right place. <laughs> gonna try real hard to be done before noon I would really like to do that fertilizing contract and I'm afraid if we don't do it today it's gonna go away I guess we could just accept it and it would stay with us until we did it to be honest I don't really know I don't do that many contracts so We just need us a little bankroll. Fortunately, with all of the free property, we have places to put things. And I haven't looked at all of this property, but I'm assuming that some of it has grass to mow. And it looks like part of it is forest, so we may be able to do some logging. Right, so we're going to take our last load over to the water mill and see how much money we make. I, I really just have no idea how much of this belongs to us. It's very hard to say. 
And however much it is, we'll take it. Because it's more than we have now. Wow, that's some drainage ditch, huh? We must get some pretty torrential rain here. But see, then I don't understand. There's not like a culvert here or anything for it to pass under the road. So I, where does it go? Because we're going uphill now. So the water's going to come towards us. I, I don't know. Maybe some of that farm simulator physics going on here. All right, let's see. What point will the contract be completed? Ninety one percent transported. So I'm not expecting much at all. Well, whatever we get is whatever we get. Okay. Ninety six hundred and seventy nine dollars. I will take it. All right, I'm going to get this stuff returned and uh, head back up to the shop and see if I can get into another contract. All right, so we're back over here at the store. We finished our contract. We made about $23,000. Uh, and I took on a fertilizing contract, which pays $43,000 so I'm real happy about that I, I leased the equipment so I could get the trailer uh, but it came with this burrito spreader which it, it's a good spreader it holds 18,000 liters I think but it only spreads at 18 meters wide uh, so I went ahead and leased this one it wasn't very much it was about $1,500 it holds 10,000 liters but it spreads at 42 meters wide so a big field like field one is going to be much much faster to do with this spreader so I've got it loaded up with 10,000 liters of fertilizer I know I'm gonna to need to come back and refill but that's a good start so I'm gonna to head to field one and I will see you guys there well this is a little surprising I did not expect a field of fully grown sunflowers <laughs> So I'm not really going to be able to see here. Uh, I may go ahead and use a worker for this because the worker will be able to tell where they've been. And I think it's probably going to be worth spending a little money on a worker in order to get this thing covered the first time rather than have to go back and forth to the mini map to see you know, what I've covered and what I haven't covered. I think just basically let the worker do it and we're going to make less money yeah but it was already a pretty big contract so i think i'm going to go ahead and, and put a worker on this and see how we do and the worker didn't want to do it and he still didn't want to do it okay so we'll start all right there they go now well, we got the worker on it.
I think we're getting very close to being done, which is really good because when I pulled up to this field, I thought it was going to be a nightmare. Um, thank goodness we had the worker to know where they were going. I went into the I went into the map to see how much we had fertilized, and there's weeds in the field, so the field is just brown. It's and no matter how much I fertilize, the field just stays brown. So that was not going to be a good indicator of how close we were to being done. So again, I'm really glad we had the the worker because there's just no way to see. There's no way to see where you've been. So I expect this to complete at any moment. And there it goes. We are done. But because I'm a good human being, I'm going to go ahead and finish fertilizing this field because I hate it when workers do that to me I hate it when I hire a worker to to do something on a field and they leave if 8% of it undone because they are quote finished well that's not how it works so I am going to actually finish And we have some fertilizer left over, so that's a good thing. We can fertilize another field at some point. So I'll see you guys back at the shop. I'm going to return this stuff, and then we'll figure out what's next. All right. First thing I'm going to do is collect on this contract. Boom. $36,000. Awesome. All right. So let's go over here and we're going to return some things. All right. So there we go. It's 2.30 on the first day. We've got $55,283. We have a few thousand liters of fertilizer. And we have enough land to where I can find a place to sleep for tonight. Like right over here. And uh, then we'll get some more stuff done tomorrow, I think. I'm not sure... There's another contract we could we could do. I guess I could have done another fertilizing contract while I still had the spreader, couldn't I? That would have been smart. But I didn't do that, so maybe I'm not smart. All right, I'm going to make some decisions and then I'll bring you guys back when I do. Okay, so we're going to see how smart I am. Um, it seemed to me that it was a good idea to go ahead and take as many fertilizing contracts as I could get right now because they're probably not going to be here tomorrow. So I have... Um, the first contract I accepted, I, I borrowed the equipment. And then the next three I accepted, I did not borrow equipment. So I'm going to use the the equipment that I that I borrowed on all four fields. And even after I pay the $3,078, I think it was, and buy the fertilizer, I'm still going to be way ahead. So, I mean, that, that represents over $80,000 worth of contracts right there. So even if I pay out $10,000 in fertilizer and leasing fees and, and even worker fees, I'm still way ahead. So uh, we're going to get as much of this done with the remainder of the day as we can. And we'll finish it up tomorrow if we have to. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. And that's what we're going to do. We'll see again how smart I am. I may not be very smart at all. That 
That is always a possibility. But like the last spreader I had, this one also does 42 meters. And I believe it holds 10,000 liters. So we're basically using the same equipment that we used last time. And this will not fill it up, so I'll buy some more fertilizer. And we will fill it up. So I'm using what I believe is called the Farm Supplies Pack. Uh, and fertilizer is cheaper there than it is normally. So basically it's just a discounted fertilizer. You know, it may not be the highest quality fertilizer, but it's still fertilizer and it works. And um, I'll use it on my own fields. So I will also use it on rental fields. So let's buy some. We might as well go ahead and buy a couple of more pallets because I know we're going to need it all. So get over here to fertilizer pallet and it is $1,000 for 5,000 liters. So it's quite a bit cheaper than, than it is from other sources. And you know, you can say what you want about it, but if somebody was discounting fertilizer down the street and everybody else was selling it at the regular price, you would buy the discounted fertilizer. So that's what I'm doing. And I think, you know, all of the prices in this game are, are way higher than I think they would be in real life. So sometimes it's nice to see something that's a little more realistic which I think this is. And, you know, down the road I'm going to pay more than I should for other goods. So I think it all evens out in the long run. So let's see which one of these are we going to do first. We might as well do field two. Well, let's see which one is the closest. We got two, seven, twenty-two, and twenty-nine. See which one is currently closest to us. It looks like it's going to be field two or 29. They're both pretty close. And then 22 is down here. And what's the other one? I know we have four contracts. Oh, there's two. There's 29. There's 22. Ah, there's seven up here. Okay, so none of them are too far away. We're going to do field two and then we'll do field 29. Oh, come on. Uh, drives me nuts. Just keep going. Who does that? Who drives like that? It looks like it's another field of fully grown sunflowers. Why you guys wait so long to fertilize? I mean, I'm happy to take your job, but come on. I want to fertilize those when they're just a touch smaller. Now, what's the best way to do this field? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be to start on the long edge down here. Actually. Alright, that ditch is not too deep. If the worker goes in it to turn around, it's no big deal. Because, yeah, I pretty much have to use a worker again. There's, I just, I can't see. There's no good way for me to tell where I've been, so... 
we're going to put it on a worker again and collect the money. Alright, so I'm just going to do more of the same, and uh, I'll talk to you guys when I'm done for the day. So I finished the first field, which again was another sunflower seed field, and so I came over here thinking, gee, I hope it's not another sunflower field. Well, it's not. It's a cornfield that's also pretty much fully formed. So... Again, we're going to be spending some money on a worker, but that's okay. We're going to make money. It's going to be all right. I don't think I've ever seen so many fertilizing contracts for basically fully grown crops, but here we are. So once again, we'll hire a worker. Thank goodness we did that first uh, harvesting contract because that gave us the money to come and do these fertilizing contracts which are very lucrative, but, well, yeah, I'm gonna do some contract work here. So, okay. So we're good. We're fertilizing again. And we will keep fertilizing until we have completed all of our contracts and made the big bucks. So I'll talk to you when I'm done with this field. Well, we're here and for the first time today, we'll actually be able to see what we're doing. Uh, this is a massive sugar beet field, uh, and I'm glad that we're just fertilizing it and not harvesting it. All right, we have completed all of our fertilizing for today, and we're headed back towards the shop. I did slow down time a little bit. I looking Looking at it now, I probably didn't need to. I could have easily finished that before dark, but I just wanted to make sure that I could get it all done today. And I don't think that's against the rules. I've looked at the rules. What I like about Rusty Money's challenges, though, is it seems like fun is a lot more important than rules. <laughs> Which is the right attitude to have when you're playing a game. So big shout out to Rusty Money Gaming for providing these challenges and just kind of giving the game a little kickstart. You know, sometimes when you've played something for a long, long time, it gets a little mundane and you find yourself doing the same things over and over and over again. Well, I think Rusty Money has actually forced me to do something a little differently. And for that, I am appreciative. So I'm going to come over here into the corner. Going to empty out my fertilizer. Because I have forgotten to do that before and have been sad. All right, so let's go ahead and collect on all of these contracts and see how much money we made. All right, collect, 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 collect. We now have $133,309. Wow. What a great first day. So now I have a decision. I'm going to have to make some decisions before, before I continue with the next episode. I need to figure out what to buy first. I don't know whether to buy equipment or property. I think the obvious thing is to buy uh, this piece of property here, up here in the corner. It's, uh, I believe it's $57,064, but it's filled with uh, old construction gear. It's an abandoned construction site, and once you sell everything that's currently on that property, you pretty much make all of your money back. So I think the smart thing is to buy that piece of property and then we'll end up with the same amount of money we basically have right now. 
and uh, then we'll figure out what to do. I, I think probably what we're going to do is get a tractor and a mower and uh, start mowing grass over there because that's our grass. Uh, it's easy to mow. It's a huge field. We'll get a lot of grass off of it. Uh, maybe make some silage and uh, that'll be our first, well, I guess maybe our second big payday because today was big. Uh, probably one of the better first days I've ever had on a map. So once again, thank you so much, Rusty Money Gaming. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you liked this episode, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing. If you didn't like this episode, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.